Hey kids, it's Miss Debbie here. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. I just can't wait until we can be back together again. I really miss seeing you. I miss your smiles. I miss your high fives and hugs. I miss hearing about what is going on in your life. And believe it or not, I even miss seeing you run down that long hallway at church. Now I know, I always tell you to walk. Walk, walk, walk. How many times have you heard that? Hundreds, thousands? You know, I don't want you to fall and hurt yourself, and I don't want you to crash into someone coming out of one of the other classrooms. But you know, I have to say, I get it. I mean, that is a great hallway. I mean, you just can't help yourself. You just want to run down that hallway. Whenever I see you running there, even when you're not supposed to be, you're always smiling and full of joy. And you know what? Sometimes when I'm at church alone, I run down the hallway too. And don't tell anyone, that's our secret. But I've been thinking about all those kind of things. And I've been thinking about Palm Sunday. We're not gonna be able to share that together in the same way this year. But I wonder what that first Palm Sunday was like. The people in Jerusalem were getting ready to celebrate the Passover, which is a very important Jewish holiday. And our Jewish friends still celebrate that holiday today. Many people had traveled there. I'm sure friends and family were reconnecting they were sharing their stories and what was going on in their lives. They were smiling, they were hugging, they were high-fiving. Maybe the hotels were full and the restaurants were bursting at the seams. It must have been a really great time of celebration. You know, the people too were so excited because they heard that Jesus was coming to their city Many of them had heard him preach and talk about God's love and care. They had heard the stories that he shared, telling them how to live with peace and kindness in the perfect way that God wanted them to live. For many of them, that was the first time they had heard such a hopeful message Many of the people too had traveled with Jesus and they saw him do things that could not be explained. He had healed the sick. He had fed thousands with just a few fish and a few loaves of bread. Some people even saw him walk on water. Now they knew that normal people could not do those things. They knew that he had to be someone special and they believed that he was God's son, the savior that they had been waiting for. So I can just see it. I believe that those people ran down the streets. They couldn't help themselves. They just wanted to go and see Jesus. In the Bible, it says that they laid their coats and blankets on the road. They had palm leaves and they waved their branches and they said, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. It must have been such a happy day. So here we are in 2020 amid the COVID-19 virus. It has definitely changed our lives, but I believe we can still celebrate Palm Sunday with joy so I'm going to give you a few assignments. First of all, I want you to smile. Share your beautiful smiles with those around you. The world definitely needs your smiles right now. We might not be able to high five and hug everyone that we see, but we can wave to our neighbors. We can do the hug sign and send it to them across the sidewalk. All of those things are so important. Call, text, FaceTime, email a friend and just let them know that you care about them. You could even send an old fashioned card through the mail. 
that works as well. Now, I know I can't give you a palm leaf this year. I hope next year will be a very different story. But you know me and crafts, I had to include a craft for you. I'm gonna ask you to make a palm kite. At the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the very simple instructions on how to make this. After you make it, go outside, run around your yard as fast as you can, just like you do in the hallway at church. Shout Hosanna, share God's love with others. If you do make the kite, which I hope you do, please send me a picture of yourself with it or a video. I'd love to see your creations. Now, I know that we'll be back together again soon, but until then, just know that I love you, your church loves you, God definitely loves you, and he will keep us all in his care. So have a blessed Palm Sunday. Bye. Okay, hi all you creative people. I'm going to show you how to make your palm kite. So you just need a few supplies. First of all, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I just stole one from our printer. That works fine. You're going to probably need some scissors, a hole punch, tape, some string or kite string or lightweight yarn, a bamboo skewer if you have it, or maybe you have chopsticks at home. If not, you can find a sturdy twig in your yard. And you're gonna want some crayons or markers to do some decorating. Finally, if you wanna add streamers to your kite, which like who doesn't wanna add streamers, you're going to need um, a plastic bag or some kind of um, lightweight paper to make the streamers with. So the first thing that we're going to do is take your sheet of paper and just fold it in half. Give it a good crease. Now next, I'm gonna move this, come up here. We're gonna fold it and we're just gonna bring it up part way and crease it. Can you see how that is? Then we're gonna flip it over and we're just gonna do the same thing. Super simple. That's gonna become your kite. Now at this point, it's time for you to get really creative and decorate it before we put it all together. So if you kind of lay it out, you can see where the lines are and you're going to want to decorate the outside sections. You can do the top or the top and the bottom, whatever you feel like. So here's one that I did. I went a little crazy. I did the top and the bottom and I put my palm leaves on both sides. So now it's time to put it together. The first thing that we're gonna do is just lay it flat and put some tape on the seam. We just need a couple pieces. That just helps to hold it together. Now we're gonna take the twig or the bamboo skewer or the chopstick and we're gonna lay that right across the center. Now you might have to snap off a little bit of it because most of them are longer than that. So I'm gonna break this one. We're just gonna put it up here at the top and again, add just a couple pieces of tape to hold it on. Next, we're going to Punch a hole just about right here. And go ahead and add your string. Tie a couple knots, because we don't want your kite to fly away.
Now at this point, you can add your streamers. So just lay your kite upside down, take the streamers that you cut from your bags, and tape them on. I made some long ones and some short ones. And there you have it. You have your palm kite. So I want to see you go outside, fly those kites, and shout Hosanna. Thank you. See you later. All right, so if I ask you to do it, it means I have to do it right. So I'm outside with my kite shouting, Hosanna. Happy Palm Sunday. Woo! <laughs> All right. Bye.